All right, we've got a drone video for Tract 4 at the Merrimack Project. Uh, we're parked on the county road at the east side of the property. Uh, direct frontage on the county road on the east side goes way back to the west and has direct frontage on the Mark Twain National Forest along its whole west side. Basically all wooded. We're going to see some beautiful mature pine trees and oak trees on this property. A lot of, of uh, younger timber as well, but... Um, large amount of mature timber okay so we're checking out tract four that's toward the top of the map um, as you can see it's basically all wooded we might have some small natural openings borders the uh, mark twain national forest on its west side there's actually a power line uh, in that section of national forest so that's really not too far away which is interesting and then the entire east side borders the county road it's county road 5600 so you've got access uh, all year round all right, topo map, uh, that's actually one of the best things about this property is the way it lays. If you look uh, toward the right side of track four, the east side off the county road, uh, it's practically level, but it does slope down uh, very gradually. Um, you get in about a thousand feet, you've got that little creek bed. From there, it slopes up and you have a large level area right in the middle and then slopes down and gently up again as you go to the National Forest. So interesting track, uh, topo map, uh, the topo map didn't indicate any any super steep areas maybe when you get right down to the creek uh, it's common to have a little steepness on the last part down to a creek uh, but this looks like a very very usable property unbelievable having that national forest frontage and county road frontage uh, so of course looking at the property and then back westerly national forest in the distance and i think we are going to do a full flyover here you're going to see all kinds of uh, mature pine trees, red oak, white oak. Um, the, the pine trees were especially impressive because there are some, some very beautiful, tall, straight pine trees, uh, which just makes us immediately think of a log cabin because those are, um, from what we have been told in our research, it's kind of the preferred material for log cabins. Um, especially, oh man, if you can, if you can, like in this situation, if you want a, a log cabin and you've got the pines on your property, it is ideal because you can prep them yourself, you can cut them to length. Uh, some of these pine trees are far longer than you could ever have delivered uh, to a site uh, because there are obviously restrictions on what you can uh, take down the road. <laughs> uh, so to have, have these big tall pine trees on site is unbelievable. Um, more than enough to do a log cabin. Uh, of course, you, you cannot cut or, or use or sell the timber on this property until it's been paid for in full, which is pretty darn basic if you ask us. Uh, but, I mean, these trees are only uh, really only getting bigger, so if, it, if you don't do your cabin for a few years, you'll, you'll have a more impressive cabin as the trees get bigger and bigger. Heading westerly, uh, was talking too much there and lost track of what we're doing. Uh, again, very, very level here on this east side. Um, it's sloping gently as we go toward that creek bed but I mean it is gradual and then somewhere down there we've got the little creek bed um, when we were out there the, the creek I don't think we saw the creek bed on this particular track but uh, on a couple we did and it was it was flowing a little bit um, but certainly not going to be a year-round creek bed I wouldn't think now we're back up over that level area in the middle which could be a really cool private spot to build or camp and then as we look westerly, you can actually kind of see how it slopes down gradually. And then when it begins to slope back up, um, that's about when we're going to um, hit that national forest. So direct frontage on the national forest. I mean, you can literally walk from your property into the Mark Twain National Forest and you've got access to uh, well over 50,000 acres of additional land. So lifetime supply of hunting land. I mean, you could... You can hunt constantly and never hunt the same area twice with this much national forest. We're looking northerly. You can see the, uh, the pasture off in the distance. Uh, basically, national forest to the left of center of the screen and the property to the right of center of the screen. It does not extend all the way up to the meadow. That's several hundred feet to the north from the property. Looking to the left, you can see that diagonal line. That's the power line, uh, which is actually running through the national forest and then off into that pasture. So we're looking directly at the National Forest, um, looking southerly, quite a bit of National Forest as well. I mean, just check out the interactive map and you can zoom out and kind of see the, the National Forest in this area. It's, it's awesome, awesome. Only about two miles from the headwaters of the Merrimack River, which is how this 
project got its name. We're looking easterly over the property, county road in the distance. Um, beautiful tract. I mean, just stellar, stellar tract. It is so very hard to find uh, properties with national forest frontage, and it is exponentially harder. I think I'm using that word almost correctly. Exponentially harder to find a property that has national forest frontage and county road frontage. Generally, the national forest, um, if you're able to find a tract that borders it, it's it's going to be fairly secluded. It might have a forest road or a trail or no trail at all uh, going to it. Um, in this case, you've got an actual county road. So you've got a county maintained gravel road. You can get to this property basically all year in, in virtually any type of vehicle, any kind of normal vehicle that you'll see on the road anyway. Uh, and then you can still um, access that national forest directly from your property. Super, super cool scenario. Looking northerly, uh, red truck of course is parked at the road frontage on the property, property to the left. Really something special. Very excited about uh, the Merrimack project. Um, wish we had a lot more of these but we really don't and it took forever to, to find these ones so uh, we are pretty pumped about this if you have any questions on this uh, do feel free to give us a call to shoot us an email uh, we'd love to talk to you about any of our available properties uh, you'll you'll be able to see on the website what's available and what's not uh, but you, you can certainly call us and uh, we can let you know if we have any upcoming projects there we go. So as we're looking northerly, of course, the property's on the left side of the county road. And we're about to crash into a tree. There we go. Awesome. If you have any questions, uh, let us know. We'd love to talk to you.